Right, so we're now going to uh, create a uh, ladder down to bedrock to uh, to get our mine started. So I'll plunk it in the middle of the floor here. We use the toolkit again, and uh, this one is mining. And then we'll go ladder to bedrock. Place me on the ground. Okay, save level at currently naught, which is obviously not correct. So we'll just escape from that and find out where we are. Uh, 63. Okay, so we need to input that. So is this correct? No. Current level 63. Enter and then I'll add 63 to any slots. Might as well put all four in. Uh, 16 torch. Uh, let's uh, see if we can get 12. That'll do. Uh, 64 cobblestone. Right, that's ready to start uh, burrowing down. So what we'll do is change it into um, uh, the um, spectator mode so that we can watch what's happening as the turtle goes down here. So you can see it's uh, heading down the shaft it's building. As it goes down, it's plugging any gaps in the uh, structure so that there's there's no spaces. So access to caves is blocked off, as indeed it is to this area which I've already been exploring. It gets rid of cobble and sand if it comes across it. Fills that in. So we'll go down now to as it's heading down to the bottom to see what happens when it gets uh, close to the base here and I just check what level we're at five that'll do so I'll wait now until it comes down and we can observe it okay so it's coming down towards bedrock now and when it hits the first piece of bedrock it will then investigate to find out whether uh, it's at the lowest possible level and so it's now detecting to see what's around a bit hard to see in this light see if we can get a better oops oh that's better so it's going along detecting whether or not it's above bedrock and if it makes a run of six blocks successfully then it knows that it's above uh, bedrock and it will return and build itself a little access chamber lava at the moment which is not helpful So now it's beginning to go up the column, placing ladders as it goes. I shall have to be careful coming down because there is lava near the bottom here. So it would be a good idea to bring a bucket of water. So as it goes up now it's placing torches at these uh, every couple of blocks intervals in order to make a lit passageway down. So we'll go back and wait for it at the top now. Okay, so we're almost back. Shove out the way here.
And there we are, we're back. So let's just break away these uh, additional blocks. Right, so we've got everything and there's our entrance to our mine. So I'll just go grab a bucket of water and uh, we can start uh, looking for diamonds. So I've got the water, let's go down and uh, see if we can get down to the bottom without ending up in the lava. is I'll leave that bottom one for a moment and we'll start our mining from this level. So just okay. Yep, we'll leave that one there. Let's plonk him there. Get him going. So TK again, and this time we want mining and create mine at this level. So we know where we are. Let's put some torches in. A bucket. This is to power uh, fuel the turtle with, especially if it comes across uh, uh, lava. Uh, cobblestone, one chest, that's what it uses to store stuff in. I think we're ready to go. So that one's hurtling off that way, it'll make its own mine. Now round here is going to be slightly more difficult because of this, uh, this lava, which is a real nuisance. But we'll come back to that. Right, well this lava is being a bit of a nuisance, but it shows how powerful these turtles are and how useful they are. I want to get the turtle below that block there for it to start creating the mine as its friend is doing this way. So one way I can do it is to place it uh, slightly further up and back than I want it. And then by controlling it, I can make it go down forward and then start creating the mine in the lava. So the first one we want to do is to go down one and then forward one. And I'm not going to uh, unclick it because I won't be able to see it again so I'm just going to type the command that I want which is TK mining which is one, create mine at this level, which is one. We know where we are, there's no problem. We'll press enter, we we'll put the torches in. That'll do. And then cobble, bucket, and chest. That's now going. So that is now creating its own mine within the lava. It'll make use of the lava for fuel and it should block most of it up by the time we return. In the meantime, its friend over here has already gone along this way, has planted a chest up here to use to deposit any stuff it doesn't want. It's uh, released lava that way. It's built this corridor here. 
and this one here. So its next journey is to go round the outside here and join all these corridors together and then reappear from this one here. So we'll come back to that when there's something a bit more interesting to show. Okay, now I've gone into spectator mode so that we can see the progress of uh, this uh, turtle as it goes round here. So it's going through quite a big patch of lava at the moment and it's cutting this uh, square shape round here. So it cuts it high enough for the player to walk through and place his torches as long as they're not being swept away by lava. Uh, as it goes along at the moment what it's doing is it's checking the wall to its left so if there's anything of value to the left there was coal there it's taken it out and blocks it with cobblestone. Uh, this side won't touch until it uh, is has done the outer perimeter first, so it uh, completes this one first. In fact, we're almost there now. There we go. So now it's going to do the same uh, as it... Oh, so we haven't quite finished yet. We're still doing... Yep, we've still got another branch uh, to do here. So I'll, again, I'll come back when there's something more... Uh, of interest to show there. Right, I've started the recording up again. As you can see, there's a pile of debris that the turtle has dropped here. And the reason it's dropped it is that it has discovered and taken out one diamond, but it's not programmed to go in to that area there. Uh, so it's left exposed for the player to finish that uh, off. So it's coming now to the end of its uh, next quarter. It's then got to go back over here and then join up by the ladder. The Its friend over here is doing okay. So again, we'll cut away until there's something more interesting to be seen. So it's now doing the outer walls and again is removing anything of value within the walls here. It's also, though we don't see it from here, checking the ceiling so that if there is a void above water or lava, it will plug that uh, void. So it should take the coal out here. Right, so I've returned to uh, survival mode to follow this one as it cuts its path through the mine and also to rescue this uh, diamond that was left on this side. Don't think there's any lava here but we better just check. if we can find the turtle. It's just unloading supplies, so let's see if we can catch it. Yep, there's the diamond that it picked earlier. While we're at it, we'll steal the gold and iron ore. So that's now cutting 
it's finished doing this uh, rectangular square area so it's now going to go up and down these sides here checking what's above checking what's below and uh, taking anything of value out of it uh, the other side is still a bit dangerous to walk through but you can see the same shapes are developing that way same with up there so the uh, turtles are finished uh, both this uh, sides here I've stripped them out so we've got seven diamonds three gold and 74 uh, iron ore from these and a bunch of uh, coal so we'll move down and continue with the layer immediately above and immediately below so that we've done the the three main diamond bearing areas so I'll do that um, off camera <laughs> 